Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching iGAN and Asus recently launched the Zenfone Max Pro, a phone that starts at a price of 10,999. A lot of people were excited about this price, but it directly goes up against the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, the phone which did make a dent when it launched, but was only not available for a lot of people to buy because of their flash sale model. So what's the basic difference between these two devices and which one should you pick? This video should be able to help you out a little better. So let's quickly compare the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro with the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. Let's get started. So the newly launched Asus Zenfone Max Pro will go on sale shortly and it starts at Rs 10,999 for the 3 gigabyte RAM and 32 gigabyte storage variant. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro starts at 14999 for the 4 gigabyte RAM variant and it does have 64 gigabyte of onboard storage. In terms of design, both of these phones are quite identical. In fact, they have the same exact camera layout and display positioning on the front as well as the similar camera layout in a vertical format on the back. Let's talk about the display. Both of these phones have an identical display with a 5.99 inch size. Uh, both of these phones do have curved LCD displays. So both of these phones do have rounded LCD displays, which on the edges of the display are rounded off, uh, which makes them look really nice and really premium. Both of them have a 2160 by 1080 pixel resolution with a 403 pixel per inch pixel density. Both have excellent viewing angles, great visibility. Both offer color changing modes on on both of these devices so you can change the hue of the color and you can also turn on something like a reading mode which is like a blue light filter allows you to sleep better at night so in terms of the display both are almost the same and both perform almost identical indoors as well as outdoors now buttons on both of these phones are made out of metal so they're nice and tactile and uh, the only one thing that the Redmi Note 5 Pro does have is that it does have a camera bump. So the camera layout does jut out a little bit from the body. So if you do lay it flat on the table, much like the iPhone 10, it does wobble around. So it is recommended that you keep it in a silicon case that comes with it or any other case that you can find in the market to make the camera flush. On the Zenfone Max, there is a slight bump the camera is slightly raised, but it's more or less flush. So it's not as big a bump as on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And you do not have any movement if you keep the phone flat on the table. So that is definitely a plus point. For those interested in detailed specifications, here's another thing that makes these phones similar is that both of them run the Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 system on chip with a 1.8 GHz octa-core processor. You also get the Adreno 509 GPU. Like I mentioned, you do get options of 3GB, 4GB and later a 6GB variant for the Asus Zenfone Max Pro, whereas on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, you only get a 4GB or a 6GB variant. Now, like I mentioned before, the Redmi Note 5 Pro does have a 4000 milliamp hour battery and the Zenfone Max Pro does have a 5000 milliamp hour battery. And while the chipset does support fast charging, you can only get 10 watt charging going on on this device. So it does take in a maximum of two amps during charging. And it's something that could be possibly enabled via a software update. Both of these phones do have micro USB ports at the bottom, which is something that should have been phased out in 2018, but it looks like certain devices towards the end of the 2018. Another important aspect of both of these devices is the operating system. Now, the Zenfone Max Pro does have a slight bit of an advantage over the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, and uh, that advantage seems to be the fact that the phone is running a stock version of Android, and it already comes with Android 8.1 out of the box and the company is really quickly pushing out software updates and making the software smoother and smoother as the updates come along. So we are definitely seeing improvements in performance. That definitely trumps the Android 7.1.1 that is available on the Redmi Note 5 Pro despite being a new phone despite running MIUI Global 9.2. The phone still runs Android 7.1.1 with no real timeline for an Android 8 update. It's already almost time for Android 9 to be rolled out. So we're still staying back in terms of that. But then there is the advantage of a MIUI that a lot of people like. So you do get things like dual apps. So you can clone apps like WhatsApp and Facebook and have dual accounts running at the same time. These are features that a lot of people do like. You also have other MIUI features that let you customize the way you navigate and run some gestures and all of those things within the phone which really helps a lot of people use the MIUI devices or MIUI based devices a lot better. 
There's also a lot of customizations within the camera that allow for a lot more features and capabilities on Xiaomi devices, which also make the camera on the Redmi Note 5 Pro a really good camera and I'll talk about that in just a minute. The ASUS Zenfone Max Pro does get the advantage of a faster update cycle and stock Android performance, but it does not get some of the features and tweaks uh, that you do get with MIUI. And also you do get certain things like gestures uh, that the company has added, but it's only basic and you do get a double tap to lock the screen and you can draw in an icon or draw in a letter to launch any application that you can customize to that letter. So it does have basic gestures, but that's about it. But you don't have most of the major features that you get on Xiaomi devices, including finer control over the display, finer control over the UI, customization, theming, all of those things that a lot of people like, including dual apps, a feature that is really popular in that price bracket is missing on the Zenfone Max Pro, which again is something that people need to see. Now, because of the difference in the kind of OS we have, we also have a major difference in uh, the kind of performance that we get from devices. So in general, we found uh, the Zenfone Max Pro to be snappier, a little peppier in terms of performance, and that also translates to benchmark score. So you'll see a slight bit increase versus the Redmi Note 5 Pro on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro in terms of benchmark scores on Antutu and on Geekbench. So there's a slight bit of increase in terms of performance on both single core and multi-core. You'll also see this in a day-to-day use and gaming. If you do manage to get a good connection with the servers, games like PUBG, Grand Theft Auto and Asphalt 8 can run really well on both of these devices, but you do see a slight bit of advantage and a little bit better performance on the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro. Now bear in mind that the Zenfone Max Pro only has 3 GB of RAM, whereas the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro does have 4 GB of RAM in the versions that we are comparing. So there is definitely more RAM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, but you do see better performance on the Zenfone Max Pro. Let's talk about the cameras on both of these devices. Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro has one of the good cameras in this price bracket, whereas uh, Asus does use the Snapdragon camera application. Xiaomi does have their own camera app on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. A lot of great features on both of these camera applications. You do have depth mode, beauty mode, HDR, uh, whereas uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro does not do 4K video. In fact, it only shoots 1080p video, which can be a bit of a downside, but a lot of people are still happy with 1080p video. And both of these phones offer image stable on 1080p video so that definitely makes it a better usable video format so if you look at some of the samples that we've taken uh, you will find that colors and uh, the kind of depth that we're getting in pictures turns out to be better on the redmi note 5 pro in my opinion i found that the colors are also on point on the redmi note 5 pro whereas some of the shots turn out to be overexposed or oversaturated on the Zenfone Max Pro, I still think that it has a long ways to go in terms of camera, also in terms of the way it processes the bokeh. If we talk about the video recording capabilities, I found that the Zenfone Max Pro did a better job in terms of managing the light, and you can see that you get better colors and better light management on the Zenfone Max Pro, uh, versus uh, it seems a little darker on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Both of these phones did a fantastic job of image stabilization in both cases, which looks fantastic. Now also showing you now pictures from the front facing camera, both these phones do have a depth mode in the front facing images as well and as you can see both of them do a pretty good job of creating a virtual bokeh effect on the front camera, a portrait mode of sorts. It looks good, it's not the best software rendition but both of these devices manage really well. In terms of the general camera use, I think the Redmi Note 5 Pro definitely trumps the Zenfone Max Pro as far as camera capability is concerned. Again, for those interested in specifications, the Redmi Note 5 Pro does have a 12 megapixel f2.2 camera and a secondary 5 megapixel f2 camera. It does have a larger 1.25 micron pixel size, whereas the Asus Zenfone Max Pro does have a 13 megapixel sensor, again with an f2.2 aperture, and you do get a 5 megapixel depth sensor with no large micron size, so it's pretty standard. The advantage is that it does shoot 4K video. On the front, the Asus Zenfone Max Pro gets 8 megapixel front facing camera with an f2 aperture, whereas uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro gets a 20 megapixel Sony camera, which definitely lets you get those bright shots as well as a really nice bokeh effect. Now, both these phones do have a front facing LED flash and a slight bit of advantage with the LED flash on the Redmi Note 5 Pro is that you can permanently leave it on so that you can frame your image right and get the right light effect. Whereas on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro, you can only turn it on when you click the camera shutter button. So slight bit of difference there. Again, it's a software tweak. It can be fixed easily with an OTA update. 
Now, sound quality on both of these phones from the main speaker is pretty good. I find the Redmi Note 5 Pro to be louder in certain environments. And I also find the audio from the headphone jack of the Redmi Note 5 Pro to be louder in comparison to the Zenfone Max Pro. Now, bear in mind that when I mentioned that the audio could have been louder on the Zenfone Max Pro, I do not mean that it is not usable. The Zenfone Max Pro still has pretty significantly loud audio from the headphone jack, but it's not something that is satisfying in terms of volume and the sound output that you get with regular headphones uh, is not the best kind of audio quality that I expect. So definitely in terms of audio output from the headphone jack, the Redmi Note 5 Pro is better. Speaker wise also the Redmi Note 5 seems to be better. Sound quality over phone calls, both of these phones have identical performance, identical noise cancellation. So no complaints on either of these in that scenario. Now battery life on the Zenfone Max Pro purely because of stock Android and a 5000 mAh battery seems uh, that uh, the Zenfone Max Pro gets that advantage and it also delivers that in uh, battery performance so you can easily go two days on the Zenfone Max Pro without requiring a charge whereas the Redmi Note 5 Pro will last you till the second day but you'll need to charge it somewhere early morning. Again depending on the kind of usage that you have we got easily five to six hours of screen on time on the Redmi Note 5 Pro giving us an additional half an hour to one hour on the Zenfone Max Pro. Now I think the biggest advantage that the Zenfone Max Pro does get over the Redmi Note 5 Pro is availability. Hopefully the company is not looking to go towards a flash sale model and according to what we've heard they're going to sell these phones outright. So at a price of 10,999 this phone should sell out like hotcakes and from what I'm looking at right now this seems to be a really good purchase value for the kind of specifications, capability and kind of features that this phone does have. Xiaomi is losing out a major chunk and frustrating a major chunk of their buying audience because of the flash sales because of the lack of availability of devices and no one really knows if that is still the case uh, despite there being a few months of launch process already over. So will you be picking the Asus Zenfone Max Pro uh, starting at 10 triple nine or are you going to be sticking in line to buy the Redmi Note 5 Pro? Do let me know in the comments below if you like this video and if any of the things that we talked about help you guys out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team Aigyan. This has been Bharat. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.